What's up guys, I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to install the 98cc engine onto our Megamoto 80 roller frame. In this kit, you're going to get the 98cc engine. You're also going to receive a five foot section of number 35 chain. You need to have a chain cutter of some sort. Uh, we have a variety of options on our website. We'll have links below. A 5 8 number 35 clutch, a new chain guard. These uh, we will be taking off because they won't work with this style of engine. You got the brackets to bolt on the chain guard and also the plate. This is the most important item. We developed this over the past couple weeks and we went through a lot of trial and error getting the perfect angle to get this puppy in there. So we're gonna roll right into it. We're gonna start by stripping these off and then installing this engine. All right, we're gonna use a Phillips. Take those screws out. Screws, uh, there's just two here holding this piece on. And then to get this piece out, we're going to have to unscrew the rear fender to wiggle it out of here. And this one. Oh, yeah. Jamming today, baby. They bounce around a lot. It's a good mix up. All right. These pieces are out. The fender back on. Okay. Now we gotta take this chain off. All right, master link. So we have all of the uh, items that need to get stripped off of here. So now we're going to bolt this engine up to the plate, get it in there, get the clutch and chain on, show you how to hook up the guard. And then uh, we're gonna hook up the throttle cable as well. And this thing will be ready to, ready to rock and roll. These are eight millimeter bolts. So you're just gonna get these started and snug. And then once we get the engine on there and the chain on, then we can move the engine back and forth and tension our chain. Yeah. Once we get it on there, move your engine back and forth for chain tension. Now we got our four adapter plate to engine mount bolts. One other thing that kind of gets in the way, take off that stock engine tension bolt. Now we got room for everything in this kit. Come on, baby. Snug all these up by hand as well. This looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the engine, I think all the way forward. And I gotta have a 10 mil wrench. Pretty close. Now we can put our new clutch guard, chain guard brackets on. These are the same bracket. One goes OK. 
Okay. Now for the clutch, this is a 12 tooth, 5 8 bore for number 35 chain. It's got the built in key. One last thing. Easy when it's built in there like that. And this is a little bitty quarter inch bolt, so don't go crazy torquing that thing. Now we gotta put the chain on. Nice, beautiful. You got tons of tons of adjustment with this thing, and then you still have the stock roller. It's just a little slop, and then we'll finish tightening there. Let's grab. You need a half inch socket. Yeah. Now, we're going to do our final adjustment for the chain tension. So we're going to bust this loose, draw this back. Now, we gotta bolt this clutch guard, chain guard onto those brackets. So on these, on these bolts, these come with uh, lock nuts. So don't smash the heck out of the plastic. Just kind of snug them up so they don't come loose. Two last things I'm gonna show you how to do on this kit. Let's hook up the throttle cable and the kill switch. Screws over here, Bernie. This kill switch, you will hook your red wire into the wire coming off of the engine. And then your ground, you're gonna put in between the shroud and the engine block by taking this bolt out, putting it in there, and then tighten that bolt back down. The throttle cable, just as simple. Round it up this way. Try to keep it nice and round. Don't have any really sharp bends in your cable. So you can bring it down and around like this. Then you clamp your cable in there. So you clamp the housing in here. Your cable runs through here and you tighten that down. All right, so that finishes up the 98cc on this Megamoto 8105 roller. As you can see, it goes on very easy. The tilt mount gives you plenty of adjustment. The chain is super easy. You can take all the slack out. And the chain guard, I think, looks super nice. I think it's better than the stock one kind of goes with the lines of this. So with this kit, you can run this skinny center exit header pipe, and it comes out about right there. So you can even run a little muffler on the end, and it is pretty much centered in between the fender and the frame. Stock exhaust works perfect. That was one of the tricky parts of this whole build was getting both to work. So for this build, it was pretty simple. You just need a few tools need some sort of cutters, pliers, um, a 10, 13 half inch wrench. You need a ratchet of some sort, impact if you have it, Phillips head screwdriver, and then sockets. Just a standard stock, socket set will have everything you need. 
So this is the 98cc kit. This is a really good starter bike and it even has enough power to be able to haul around an adult. These bikes are super customizable. You can do tons of stuff with these. In the next video, we're going to slap in a 225 with a different tilt plate. It's gonna be a full blown motor. We're gonna have a juggernaut kit on it and then our swing arm. So stay tuned and please like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.